Steinberg has dropped Cubase 15, and I'm doing a super quick video to let you know my top six new features, and watch to the end to see if you should get Cubase 15, and use my affiliate link below or on screen if you like what you see. Okay, this is my favorite new feature by far, and I'm surprised Steinberg buried this info on the What's New page. You now have audio previews of your project right here in the redesigned hub. Now I don't have to load a project or open a mix down to remember what the project sounded like. This will save so much time. To set this up, you just select Create Preview in the File menu, or assign a key command, and it will quickly render a snippet. Note, you have to hit Save here if it's the first time doing this, otherwise there'll be no preview in the hub when you open it. And I chose the option to create a preview on close, so every time I close the project, it automatically updates a preview. It adds a little time to the closing, but closing always takes a little while in Cubase, right? So stem separation is amazing news, as I've always had to turn to Isotope RX or other apps to make stems. And now you can just drag in a WAV file and Cubase quickly makes your stems. The quality is good, maybe not as good as like spectral layers, but this gives you quick access to tracks so you can start remixing right away. I really love this new OmniVocal feature, a free AI singer to flesh out ideas, and it sounds pretty good, quite competitive with others. So you load this up and you just play your melody. And you add the lyrics to each note. And voila, you've got singing. This is a valuable tool for producers like me who can't sing at all. A welcome addition. Quick audio export is a neat feature too. You can quickly blast out your mix when you need a quick export, and you don't need to bother with all those fussy export dialogue settings. This will really come in handy for sending proofs to clients or quick tests. QA's 14 inexplicably reversed horizontal scrolling in the mixer, and they never fixed it. Now they fixed it, put it back to the old way, but they've also added an option to reverse scrolling. Why? I don't know. This was a bit of a head scratcher, but I'm glad they finally fixed it. And finally, they've added a buffer size readout to the status bar and info line. You can see your buffers at a glance and open the ASIO dialog from here. Simple, very cool. So should you get Cubase 15? If you've been sitting on the fence about which DAW to get, this is a perfect time to jump in. Cubase is easier to use, they really streamline project previews and exports, and the new stems and AI vocal make remixing a dream. For longtime users, yes, this isn't the most exciting update ever, but some real quality of life improvements here that I'm definitely happy to pay the price for. And I find Cubase 15 feels a little more solid overall. Go check out Cubase 15 at Plugin Boutique with my link, and remember, you can do a 60 day trial, so definitely try that out. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love hearing from you. And use my affiliate links to support the channel. Until next time, mix well.